How's it going everyone? Today we're building a AMD build for under $1000. This build will perform beastly in video editing and gaming. You can also check out my Intel build in the annotation somewhere up there or in the link down below. Anyway, let's get right into the video. For our CPU, we're going to be using an AMD FX8350. This is a new CPU that just came out and it performs beastly. It has 8 cores and it is clocked at 4.0 GHz. It costs ar around $200 and it just tears up through video editing and gaming. As we have an overclockable CPU, we're going to be using a Corsair Hydro Series HADI cooler. It retails for $95, which is a great price for a cooler like this. We can overclock our CPU to around 5 GHz, 4.8, something like that and it will be completely stable. Anyway, this is a great cooler for the price. For our motherboard, we're going to be using a Gigabyte GA970A D3. That's a pretty long name, but the motherboard is really powerful. It can support a lot of RAM and it has 6 SATA 3 slots, so that's always great if you want to have a lot of SSD set to RAID 0. For our memory, we're going to be using 4 sticks of 4 GB of G-Skill RIPJAWS memory it has 2133 MHz, so that means it will perform just beastly. For around $100, you can't go wrong. If you want our system to perform even quicker, we need an SSD. So I went with Samsung 840 SSD. It is a 120GB SSD that will perform just beastly with our system. It costs around $100 and I also mentioned it in my Intel build. Anyway, be sure to check it out. For our storage, we're going to be using a Western Digital Blue hard drive. It is a 1TB hard drive at, two, at 72 RPM and it is a great deal for $75. You just can't go wrong with it. For our graphics card, we're going to be using a NVIDIA GTX 660 Superclocked Edition. It has 2GB of video RAM and I also mentioned it in my Intel video, so be sure to check that out. Anyway, it just performs beastly, it will tear up through video editing and games, so be sure to check it out and add it to your wishlist. We need a good power supply to run all these games and stuff, and we are going to be using a Cooler Master 750 watt power supply. It is a 80 plus power supply, so that means it will give us a plenty of power if you want to upgrade anything and overclock your AMD chip, and it is just a great power supply for $70. For our case, we'll be using a Corsair Kybyte 300R case. This case only retails for $75, which is a great price for a case like this. It has a lot of space, so you can easily get your cable management done and you can upgrade it in the future. Anyway, I really love this case and it is definitely worth a try. So anyway, this was my AMD gaming build. If you enjoyed it, be sure to check out my Intel build. Also, be sure to click that like button, comment down below what you think about this video and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos.